In the last videos, we learned how to do operations with decimals. In the following videos, we're going to learn how to apply decimals to problems. For example, it costs 0 0.036 an hour to operate an electric motor. How much does it cost to operate the motor for 120 hours? Obviously, you can always do this by hand. But if we wanted to do it with a calculator, now that we know how to do it by hand, it will be fastest. I'm going to put my calculator up. And of course, we know this is a multiplication problem. 0 0.036 times 120. A hundred and twenty hours will cost four dollars and thirty two cents. You make a down payment of one hundred and seventy five dollars on an electric drum kit and agree to make payments of thirty seven eighteen per month for the next eighteen months to repay the remaining balance. Find the total cost of the electric drum kit. For this problem, we're going to go to delaying or adding interest here. But I just wanted to show you that we're using decimals and multiplication of decimals every day, especially when we're talking about money. In this case, if we go to our calculator, we know that we're making a payment of 175 and then 37.18 per 18 months. On our calculator, we can put 175 down, and then 37.18 times 18 months. That will be $669.24. Remember, we still have to add the 175. This will give us an equal 844.24, almost $845, to be able to pay for this run kit. As we saw, to convert a fraction to a decimal, divide the numerator by the denominator of the fraction. We can do this with our calculator. For example, 5 divided by 4. Let's turn that into a decimal. We get the calculator and we can do 5 divided by 8. We get 0 0.625. The same thing if we wanted to convert 7 11. We get 0.63. As you can see, it is extremely easy to convert a fraction into a decimal. Here's our sun examples that you can peruse to get familiar with decimal to fractions or vice versa. To convert a decimal to a fraction, we remove the decimal point and place the decimal part over the denominator equal to the place value of the last digit of the decimal. And then we write the fraction in the simplest form. On your right hand side, you see a chart for decimals, percentages, and fractions. These are the ones that are the most used. It will be good for you to get acquainted with all of them. This is another example in which we're changing decimal to percentage and to fraction. When we have a number such as 23%, we can say that if we divided 23 by 100, it will give us a fraction. 23 over 100. 
it will also give us a decimal of 0.23. We not only can do this dividing, but also we can do the opposite, the opposite which is multiplication. Here is again some of the most common fraction groups. Let's practice some of these in the next chapter in which we're going to convert decimals to fractions. Let's go to the board. These two examples are really easy, but it will give us an idea of how to convert uh, decimals into fractions. As you can see, 0 0.275 If we come from the decimal, the 5 will occupy the place of the thousands. Which means that much be easier to divide by a thousand. As we can see, this is true because if we move from the 5, 1, two and three that would mean that we move three spaces towards the left but we are dividing if you remember how to get the factors out of the number or how to do the prime factorization of a number you know that 275 will be equal to five times five I'm going to use this symbol for multiplication so we don't get confused with the decimal point times 11. 11 is a prime number. And then a thousand has a lot of factors, of course. 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. If you remember, we can also could have had 2 to the cube times 5 to the cube. And on the top, we could have 5 squared times 11. Now we get rid of some factors in order for us to simplify this fraction. 5 and the 5 go away, 2 on the top and 2 on the bottom. And what we're left over is 11 on the top. And then on the bottom, we have 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 5 is 40. We have converted 0.275 into a fraction, and in this case, the fraction is 11 40s. In this case, we're going to do convert 0.33 to a fraction, so you can see another example. 0.33. So there's two spaces after the decimal. We're going to divide by 100. In this case, we got 33 over 100. We know that 33's factors are 3 and 11. 11 is a prime number. And then factors of 100 is 2 times 2, which is 4. Let me use the multiplication symbol so we don't get it confused for decimal. And then times 5, times 5. We don't have any factors on the numerator or top of the fraction or the denominator or bottom of the fraction that are equal. So we can't really get rid of anything. In this case, 3,300 will be the fraction of 0.33. I know this seems like kind of silly to go through all these steps, but if you get used to do it with all of them, then you'll be okay.